uh, I've had endo since I was 10 years old and I knew it when I had it. Um, but I didn't get diagnosed till I was like 15 or 16 years old. And in the early eighties, um, I found, um, you know, an endometriosis support group and that's what saved my life. I immediately could only find something that would tell me it's not in my head. I'm not crazy. But at that time there was only one out there. Um, the medical community told me if I got pregnant, it would stop the endo. So I had five miscarriages and that in itself is heartbreaking for anyone. And then when I was 26 years old, they told me if I had hysterectomy, it would stop the endometriosis. Um, so after two, um, you know, tubal uh, pregnancies and ruptured ovaries and cysts and uh, more cysts in my um, uterus, I ended up having a hysterectomy and it never stopped the endo. So now at age 62, I can say I'm a survivor, but it hasn't stopped the cramping and the pain. So I recently found out that um, I went to a couple doctors and said, you know, I know the endo is gone because they told me it's gone. And I recently found out that it's absolutely not gone. Even at my age, it's still there. So even after all the, the surgical, um, you know, interventions and all the, the prayers and the hopes and the encouragement, um, we are still not even close to finding a cure or how to stop it. And um, I, it's been on my gallbladder, it's been on my liver, I found a piece in my leg, in my eye, in my arm, it's just everywhere. And so I, what I want to say to um, the people that are, the young people that are coming up now is uh, please don't give up hope because we really need you to fight this fight with us. Um, it's, you know, there has got to be an end to this somehow, some way, but the only doctor that's ever given us any hope was Dr. Najat and you, Barbara, and we really appreciate everything you have done. And uh, I mean, even the endometriosis specialists keep saying, you know, you're fine, go on your way. It's gone. It's not gone after all these years. <laughs> so um, what I want to say is don't give up hope because hope has to happen for uh, the younger generation to be able to get past this. Um, and because I wasn't able to have children because of this hideous disease, um, I know that my lineage just has stopped, but I hope and pray that that's not the case for everyone else. And um, I really hope and pray that someday we'll find an end to this. And it's got to be because of people like you that just keep on and keep on going. Um, and I know I'll never stop. Thank you.